All right, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com, and let's go over the opening page. You should have logged into your Drupal account. On your opening page, you're going to have a menu here and a menu here. And this right here, of course, the search button may be in different places depending on your theme. And same with your, your uh, menu. But um, let's go just a little bit farther down. This is a scrolling banner. And don't be confused. You see, this is one entire picture. Don't be confused with this when it slides over. Right here, this is still one entire picture. They're just saying, hey, you can make a picture with all this different stuff. Okay? And then you've got three slots here that you can put information in. And uh, notice as I mouse over, they give you a little gear. You can configure that block. These are what's considered blocks, okay? And this last part down here is just a page, I'm pretty sure here. And you notice if you're logged in, of course, if you were logged out, you wouldn't be able uh, to see the edit. But you could go ahead and uh, edit this. And this is a product description. Notice right here it says uh, feature 1, feature 2, feature 3, feature 4, 5, and 6. Now, I don't know why it's not showing you correctly it should look like this so that's how it should look on the page and then as we scroll down here right here at the bottom it's got a menu settings provide menu link notice the word overview okay that's the title and you could do a description if you wanted uh, you want it in the main menu and notice what else is in the main menu. Overview, testimonies, news, forum, FAQs, and galleries. Keep that in mind. We're going to look at that. And then this is the weight. Now, the weight is a very funny thing. Literally, this is lighter, which means it should go to the left. And this is heavier. 50 is heavier than minus, right? So it should go to the right. Let's see if that's true. I may come back and eat my words here. Um, let's just close this and take a look at the menu. We'll come back to the rest of the settings here. Let's close this. Notice it says overview, testimonies, news, form, FAQs and galleries, and this is the farthest to the left. So it's the lightest of all these. If um, So that's part of the menu there. Let's go back, scroll down to edit. So we've got our content, and for whatever reason, it's not keeping our uh, the way that we've set up our HTML, but it seems to still work. Ah, there we go. Full HTML. I bet this will keep our format. Let's try this again. And let's save. Let's scroll down. Still has it looking the same. Let's edit it. There you go. So full HTML instead of safe HTML. Safe HTML might keep it, but you'll want to save that. So that'll keep your, your settings. Now we looked at menu settings. Let's look at revision information. If you wanted to create a new revision, which I don't use this a lot because I'm a, a single person working on this, but you could do a revision do some message and send it over to other people that are working on your site. Drupal is designed for multiple bloggers. So that's what that's for. URL path settings. This is an, it'll automatically set it up where it goes content forward slash product description, the title right there, product dash description, because you can't have a space in a URL name. It's got to have a dash. Um, but what if you didn't like that? What if you didn't like them putting the title there and you want to shorten it up? Well, just uncheck it, and now you can edit it to whatever you want. Now, you can't put spaces. It may get me on that, so I'd probably want to do this. And you could do underscore also, so whatever you think it looks good. You wouldn't want to mix the two. And you could save this. Now, why is this important? Uh, this is an SEO tip. Okay, search engine optimization. What does Google look for? They look for what's in this URL. So your URL is going to read. Notice it says content, product description. 
your URL is going to read just like this, content for slash whatever underscore you dash want. And Google is going to look at this and say, okay, you've got cell phones for kids in this name, so you must be related to cell phones, and you've got whatever you want. So if somebody types in whatever you want in a search engine, which is a stupid thing right there, it'd probably be better if I said, you know, cell phones, but you get the picture there. So there, Google is looking for whatever is in the URL, and that's one of the ways that they find uh, information on the web. So you do want to pay attention to this uh, URL path settings because uh, Google pays attention to that. So if you want to rank high, pay attention to what you put in your URL. So it's very important if you want the auto to work that you title your products very well or you title your articles very, very well. Uh, if I was titling this article, I might want to put in there cell phones for kids and then whenever I push save it's gonna put that right here that's what I want okay so pay attention to your URL pass comment settings do I want people to be able to post comments at the end of my article you can push open and now when they go to your article they can post comments we're gonna leave that closed right now authoring information you can say somebody else authored this if you have a multiple people on your site uh, and you can change the authored time just to a degree but this information is there and the final thing the final thing is publishing options now most of the time you just going to want to push published but what if you have a draft you're working on a couple days you don't want people to see your draft so what you could do leave this unpublished go ahead and save it and now it's not going to show to anybody but yourself um, and so that's what that's used for. Uh, I don't really use promoted to the front page very often, but you can push that and it'll go to your front page right now. And then sticky to at the top of the list, that will make it go to the top of the list and stay there. It always stays at the top of the list. Most of the time I just publish it with just this. So you could push save at this point, it would save all your changes. Now, with that said, I've kind of went over the front page you can also go into this block here and you can change out your picture just by going configuring block. And of course you can the you can add more banner uh, settings here. I'm not going to go deep into this right now. Just know that you can go in there and play around and I'm a big time uh, advocate of playing around. Each one of these have the little gears. That's probably as much as I can go over today without overwhelming um, the different things. So here, here's your homework assignment. Go back into Drupal, especially this bottom content, and write your first story. Just write it right there. Go in, edit it, give it a good title, and write your first story about your topic. Now, is it more important to understand Drupal or to understand how to write your content? And I'm going to tell you right now, it's more important that you get your content up than it is for you to understand Drupal. Now, you may be a designer, and, and that's fine, and you're gonna design for other sites, but unless you understand this, that the content is more important than the product uh, itself, then you're not gonna be able to convey this to other people. So go ahead and write your first article. I'm gonna write mine uh, right now, just like y'all guys, and I'm gonna keep up with the homework, just like y'all, and uh, I'm gonna write an article. And I want y'all to go in and write your first article there on your topic. Now. Let me know what your topics are. I'm really interested. Write me. Send me an email. Um, get a hold of me. Let me know. And let me know what you're writing your, your products about. So your homework assignment, write a product and keep playing or write a story and keep playing with the front page here and edit stuff and make stuff look cool. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.